Okay, take 100. Personal trainers should stop promising results to clients. I'll give you my two main reasons why. I'll give you a couple examples and I'll let you know what I think personal trainers should promise to their clients instead of results. Maybe you're thinking I stopped promising results to my clients because there's too many variables. Um, I can't control their genetics. I can't control their diet. So inevitably, when they don't reach the result that I promised them, they'll get discouraged or they're gonna blame me. That's not really a good enough reason. Because actually, I think a good personal trainer should be able to promise a result, program for it effectively, and reach that goal in a reasonable timeline, as long as it's an obtainable, achievable goal, realistic goal. But even in those scenarios where you could guarantee results to your clients, I still don't think it's a good coaching philosophy or training methodology. My first main reason is this. By promising results to your clients, you're implying that there's a finish line, that you are gonna program towards and they are gonna to exercise towards a specific destination. And once we've reached it, we've reached it. When I'd say 95% of the time, that's never the goal communicated to me by my client in our first couple sessions. Usually their fitness goals are much more progressive and journey-like. I'll give you a couple examples, strength, longevity, uh, health and wellness, cardiorespiratory fitness. A lot of times they'll come to you and just say, hey, I wanna be able to do this activity, I wanna perform well at it, pain-free, and do it for a long time. So why tack on a guaranteed result to a goal that is way more um, long distance, progressive, and doesn't have a sharp timeline. I think it just does a disservice to your client and your programming ability. Now, there's a couple examples where a client will come to you with a really sharp timeline where it seems like the logical thing would be to work towards a specific result. But even in these scenarios, I'm gonna tell you why there's a better way to go about it. So I'll give you a couple examples. The first example would be like a strength competitor. Hey, I have a competition in a couple months um, and I need my bench press to go up this percent, right? So you'd think, okay, we have a direct goal in mind. Let's work towards that result and increase bench. But even then you can do a disservice to them by programming for something that specific. And that brings me to my second reason why. Results can be reached cheaply. Let's take that strength athlete, for example. You can kind of cheat your way to the result of increased bench in four months because a lot of the overuse injuries don't surface in four months. So could I just neglect all the injury prevention shoulder care exercises? No, of course not. So in that scenario, just focusing on the result that you promised their bench press over focuses you and hones in on one goal and ignores others. Maybe they want to also increase their squat and deadlift for that strength competition. And maybe they want to be able to focus later on other strength competitions and you're ruining their chances later by really programming just for this four month training session. Here's another really common example of where trainers accidentally get corralled into promising results to clients. And that is in weight loss. So many times a client will come to you and go, um, I wanna lose 30 pounds in six months and on this date because uh, let's say it's their wedding date. Well, even in that example, it's not great to do that and focus in on that one thing because what they're really asking you for is they have this aesthetic idea of what they wanna look like in their pictures. Can you help me reach that? But all you promised was weight loss, 30 pounds in six months. Well, everyone knows you can do that unsustainably. You could lose eight pounds in one week by cutting carbs and losing water weight. You could do it unsafely. Um, you could do it by totally neglecting strength training and because you're so worried that they're gonna increase muscle mass and push themselves away from their 30 pound result. So yeah, those are my two main reasons why. Don't promise a specific result to a client when they didn't ask for that type of goal in the first place. And secondly, don't guarantee a result because you might just cheat your way to reach it. Instead, look your client in the eye and promise progress. Promise that you're gonna write the most effective, safe, and optimal program that's gonna help them progress towards their fitness goal. 
If you like this coaching philosophy or mentality and you're looking for an online coach, go ahead, check out my website or look at some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.